Hi guys, a little bit more on real estate, actually a real tour, accreditations. I don't believe in them, don't like them, don't respect them, don't think they give you any knowledge or edge over anything. I'm so sorry. But I just don't see where it benefits the real estate consumer. I see where it gets money to the association, gets money for classes, gets money for books, and it's more fees. But I don't really see any benefit for the consumer. So, I thought I would go to a GRI class, week long. Thought I'd be graduate real estate institute, right? So, I thought, you know, I owe it to my consumers to get a better education in real estate, right? Well, not. So I went to a town about five hours away, and I stayed at a motel for seven days, and I took all these classes. Well, first of all, the classes were like, I want to say kindergarten, but nah, they're probably more like junior high. Uh, the real estate internet marketing stuff was just, I mean, 101 is an understatement. It was just so simple. Um, the classes, it just, it didn't teach me anything, and it was just very annoying, and it cost me a lot of money to go, a lot of money for the class, a lot of money for the motel, and oh, they let rookies go. Right? So people, some of the people had just been licensed a month, some of them six months, you know, some of them a year. You know, they should have just let brokers go. They should have said, you can't go to Graduate Real Estate Institute and be, you know, in the top of the top, supposedly, if you're a rookie. So even the classes I had a chance of maybe learning something, I couldn't ask the instructor anything because the rookies would ask the dumbest questions. They'd be like, what is one and one? And the instructor would have to explain, you know, all of the simple stuff that you learn in real estate. And they mixed that in with the people who were brokers or broker owners or had been doing this for years. So that was extremely frustrating and should have never happened. And next, about like the third day into it, they had a dance, right? So we had the big meal and then we had a dance and, you know, lots of free booze. And when you go to something like this, you don't usually take your partner or your spouse with you, right? Sometimes you do, you know, if you're both in the same company, you both do real estate. But, um, hmm, lots of alcohol, motels, um, promiscuity? Uh, yeah, there was two that I know of that, uh, couples that split up and married off separate within the next six months. And, um, I just found it to be in poor taste to offer all of this free alcohol and, and a dance. I mean, maybe have some alcohol and, you know, visit and have a show or have this or that. Or, but a dance when your spouse is at home? Anyway, obviously I'm a little bit off topic, but I learned nothing that I could bring back to my consumers. My pocketbook was a little bit lighter. I was very frustrated. I got food poisoning, which didn't make it any better, but I didn't find the courses to be any sort of graduate anything. I found them to be lame, and I found them to be juvenile, and I don't believe in accreditations for realtors for any reason other than the fact that it's more money for NAR, which is, you know, the National Association of Realtors. SavvyBroker.com